Hey, it's Coach Tom Ferry. Welcome to Life by Design, your place online for ideas, inspiration, and how to stay in action. So I, I just got a phone call uh, a few days ago, and the, the call basically went like this. Tom, I'm a new agent. You talk about a lot of these strategies, energy-sucking vampires, you know, all these great things we can do online and offline. I'm brand new. Where do I start? I need to find a client today. Do you need to find a client today? Do you need to make your next sale in the next, say, week to 30 days? If the answer is yes, I want to share with you one of the techniques that we're teaching all of our coaching customers, and that is effective open houses. Effective open houses. You've done it before. We've, we've been doing open houses, my goodness, as long as real estate has been sold. But consider, remember, your strategy matters and your passion rules, right? So let me give you a few techniques you might want to consider. Let's make sure you're doing these actions, these activities, to make sure your open houses are a real success. So it starts with number one, selecting a great property. Too often, what do we do? We just find any property we can hold open. Oh my God, I'm brand new. I just need anything. I'll just, you know, so you find yourself, you know, uh, seven cul-de-sacs deep in an area that no one is ever going to find. That's a no-no. And you put one sign up. That's even worse. Right now, you've got to ask yourself, what are buyers looking for in my marketplace today? Um, I was doing a, a Google Analytics search a few days ago, and when I typed in the phrase foreclosure, there was 37 million searches in the month of January. 37 million for foreclosures. What are buyers looking for today? Perceived deals. So, selecting a great property, your listing or someone else's, that's key. Great property meaning price, location, opportunity, bank owned, um, you know, anything that makes it special or unique. I had one of my clients that's uh, in the high end of Laguna Beach who just happened to have a great listing off Pacific Coast Highway. Lots of busy traffic throughout the weekend. She had 15 multi-million dollar buyer opportunities walk through that open house in two hours. So selection of property is key. Number two, you want to email your entire database and invite them and then ask, here's a photo of the property, who do you know that might be right for this property? Come to the open house. Come see me this weekend. Very important. You got to drive traffic. Number three, door knock the day before. I said, if you're a brand new agent, you got nothing else to do. Get out there, have an open house invitation, knock on their door, let them know that you'll be holding the property open, and you'd love to know who else they know that would like to live in the community. Number four, five Craigslist ads. Let the buyers that are looking online, the 50 million people every single month that are going on Craigslist, let them know that this property is open and available. Have a few photos, maybe your email address, and of course, an address of where to get there. Number five, 10 to 30 signs. You want to put up as many signs as you can legally in your marketplace. Some places, you know, some areas, some cities, you can't do signs. If we're in New York City, you know what I'm talking about. Downtown Chicago, not an option. You know, but if you're somewhere in Iowa, put up as many signs as you can. Try 400, whatever the number is. The deal is this. You got to think to yourself, all right, buyers are going to be coming in from what major streets, what major intersections. My job is a 10 minute radius around that open house, as many signs as I can, driving them back in to your property. Remember, it's about driving traffic and converting. Uh, the next one on the list is, remember your sole purpose of why you're there is just to find one buyer. You're just looking for one buyer. You might end up, you do everything I'm talking about here. We have clients like uh, Leticia Hickson, who says, Tom, I do all this stuff and sometimes I get 50 and 60 people through through an open house in one day, 50 to 60 people right now in today's marketplace, in today's environment, that many buyers looking at these properties. And yet I was reminded of one thing. You're only doing this to find one person, just one person that you can help in the next seven to 30 days to buy a house. So that's my thought for you. If you're, if you're looking at January and you're not, you're not happy with your production, you're disappointed with your sales efforts, consider select the right property, email your database, go door knock, put it out on Craigslist, get as many signs as you can, and then remember while you're there, you're just looking to connect with one. Just help one person fulfill their real estate dreams. So simple thoughts for you on this Wednesday. Remember always your strategy matters and your passion rules. Thanks for watching this video.